He's the best quarterback University of Hawaii ever had. And it just, um, <laughs> he's just, oh, gosh. Fans, as far as the eye could see, thousands turn out for a last glimpse at the University of Hawaii Warrior football team before they head to New Orleans. And it was history making again. This time, the largest fan turnout for an autograph session that UH has ever seen. KHNL News 8's Diana Ko takes us to this day at Cook Field. Well, I talked to UH staff and even someone who's covered UH sports for nearly 30 years, and they all say they have never seen a meet and greet event like this one. It is the players' last public session before they head to the Sugar Bowl. <laughs> The queue started early this morning. You brave the elements to come out and meet Colt Brennan? Yes. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Tamayose was first in line. She showed up at 3 a.m. I'm just happy. I, I'm seeing the football players as they come in, and it's like, I, I'm just so excited. See you guys. The star of the show, quarterback Colt Brennan. An estimated 4,300 fans flocked to meet him for the one hour event. Here's a better perspective of that line. Colt's blue tent is on the left of the screen. Look at this line. UH officials say they have never seen anything like it. It goes all the way down the field and out to the athletic complex. Now, I admire him because he almost want, he was the first guy to get to from Hawaii to get to the Heisman Trophy. This is the guy who engineered the day. We want to have one final fan event for the for the fans in this community to come out and, and say hello to this football team. <laughs> Players say they also want to thank the fans. Support us. You know, that's way. It's the least we can do. You know, they've been turning out all season to the games, even the, the Charleston Southern games, those kind of games. So, <laughs> loyal fans, love them. A love fest for all. I'm going to say congratulations, good luck in Louisiana, and I hope you folks bring home that title. After the players return from Louisiana, McNamara says there will probably be another chance to meet them. After all, this is a community's team. It's not the University of Hawaii's team. It's not the state of Hawaii's team. It's really the fans' team. My son went to. And no surprise, fans left gift for their favorite players. And I saw what looked to be a love letter at Colt's table. Well, it was another big day for Warrior fans as tickets to the Sugar Bowl went on sale to the general public for the first time. KHNL Stephen Florino live with that part of the story. Di, this was the first day tickets went on sale to the general public, and despite the early demand, there still are tickets left. That's because it seems that most of the people who want to go to the game already got their tickets. Most of the people at the box office fell into two groups, those who have tickets. It's been a long line and a long wait, but uh, hopefully we get some nice seats. I'm anxious to see where my seats are. And those who have tickets and are looking to upgrade. It was okay. They had um, seating in, I guess, the equivalent to the blue section in the Law Stadium and the orange as well, orange and red. Actually, our other cousin actually bought tickets already for around $200 on a pre-sale ticket place. Tickets from the school are sold at face value, 125 bucks plus a small surcharge. But some complain that the school ran out of tickets so quickly they were forced to go elsewhere and pay more. I wasn't a season ticket holder and it just, it was kind of unfair just because a lot of the season ticket holders from what I heard purchased like hundreds at a time. There was no limit at the time and now they enforce a limit and by that time there was no tickets. The school says in its initial sale to season ticket holders, about 8,500 tickets were sold to about 1,300 people. That comes out to about six tickets per person. Officials say there was no ticket gouging and the school always wanted to accommodate season ticket holders first. And if you want proof the school isn't playing favorites, just ask Ron Lee, the Warriors wide receiver coach. No, I stand in line like everybody else and just wait my turn. <laughs> Officials say about 100 tickets were sold today, and they still have a couple hundred left. They will be sold tonight and on Monday morning at 8. The Snag Warrior autographs before the Sugar Bowl brought out thousands of fans today. Some showed up before dawn at the UH Manoa campus, but even though they waited for hours, hundreds went home disappointed. KGMB 9's Julia Norton Dennis has more. <laughs> From an impromptu haka, courtesy of these little guys. 
To the signs of admiration, Warrior Mania was at a fever pitch today. Fans stood in line, a long, long line, for a chance to get their photos, football helmets, t-shirts, and all kinds of memorabilia signed by their football heroes. It's a Christmas gift, and yeah, I'm going to surprise him. He has no idea that I'm here. The UH Lower Campus was a sea of adoring fans, all wanting signatures. The line for Colt Brennan's autograph was seemingly endless. Many were destined to be disappointed because all the signing had to be done in one hour. But still, they waited. That's all right. We believe I've been a season ticket holder for a while now, and this is the team. This was a field of dreams for 15-year-old Punahou student Leah Meyer, whose teenage romantic fantasy came true two days ago. So I stood at the end of that road over there with the sign, and he stopped his car. We asked him for a picture, so he got out and took a picture with us. What, was that the first time you'd actually seen him up close and touched him? Yeah, that was the first time. <laughs> and and how, how did it feel? Good. <laughs> I didn't want to let go. She's 15. Yes. She's in love with Cole Brennan. Yes. <laughs> and you don't mind this? No, this is part of her Christmas gift. Uh, we did the tickets. We paid $150 a ticket for the last game for her and her girlfriend to go. He personalized the message, even though they said they wouldn't. But Myra is one of the lucky enough. ones. She got her photo signed. Not all the fans can afford to go to the Sugar Bowl in New Orleans, but their spirit will follow the team to the very end. Julia Norton, Dennis, KGMB 9 News. And today was the first time the general public could purchase Sugar Bowl tickets. They went on sale around 10 o'clock this morning at the Stan Sheriff Center box office. About 100 tickets were sold, and some hardcore Warrior fans like this man waited almost six hours in line just to make sure he got good seats for the game. Tickets. We wanted to be able to have a whole group of us together that's meeting up from Texas and New Orleans and Hawaii. We're all meeting together, and we wanted to be able to sit together and basically have good, good tickets. And if you didn't have a chance to get tickets, you're in luck. UH officials say there are a couple hundred Sugar Bowl tickets still left. And keep it tuned to KGMB 9. We're sending a crew to New Orleans to bring you complete coverage of the Sugar Bowl. Liz Chun, Steve Uehara, and Mike Cherry will be following the Warriors and bringing you updates from the Big Easy. St. Mary's, they played and beat Ohio 70 to 63. If you love sports memorabilia, then this afternoon's autograph session at UH was a must for you because the Warrior football team gathered at the campus's soccer field this afternoon between 10 and 1 to give its fan faithful one more shot at obtaining the John Hancocks on some of their Warrior mementos. Fans were limited to just one article per player, but for most, it was more than enough to please their needs. <laughs> well, I wanted Colt, Colt Brennan's like everybody else. Um, I heard, I suspected there would be a long line of people here, so I came early, but I didn't think, I thought they would be here a lot earlier, but I guess everybody got the word that it would be from 10, 10 a.m., so they came a lot later, but I'm glad I came early. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we'd be way down by the other side of the parking lot. <laughs> and for all the local coverage of the Sugar Bowl, tune in to KGB9, the home.